Welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a prophetic declaration. I haven't done one of these in a while. And it is going to be on fresh inspiration and vision for our walk and our life with God. But before I get started, I just want to say today is my birthday. I actually just had lunch with a one of my friends and he bought my lunch. And he got me this beautiful flower. It's like a house plant. And I was actually kind of excited. I've never gotten one of these. I usually get like regular flowers. But this one I can actually keep and it won't die. So that's so cool to me. I love flowers. They're so pretty. Um, God's beautiful creation. But yeah. So he, he paid for my lunch and got me these. And now he's just a friend. But... Um, so sweet of him. I feel so blessed. My lovely parents got me a new cross because my other one was a crucifix and I didn't realize how that was affecting my life and the curse that it had put on me because it was seen as an idol. Anyway, so yeah, today's prophetic declaration is going to be on fresh inspiration and vision. Today, I decree that lost vision and purpose are restored right now in the name of Jesus. Praying that you receive refreshed inspiration concerning every project before you and for your future. May you see your God-given destiny with a renewed mindset right now. Declaring that we become motivated to accomplish everything God has called us to do. Finding up the power of discouragement, lethargy, and indifference in Jesus' mighty name. Breaking every pattern and repetitive cycle of failure and say that it will not continue, that it will cease right now. Speaking new life to everything that has grown stale and fallen dormant. Declaring that our gifts and talents are stirred up afresh. And that we call for a supernatural wave of enthusiasm, passion, fire, and determination to finish everything that we have inside of our hearts that is from the Lord. A new fire to get in there and rekindle that relationship with Jesus. And I say that you are called, anointed, and appointed for something amazing and such a time as this. And the Bible verse that I have for you guys is from Habakkuk, I think that's how you say it, 2 verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And this is just such a word of encouragement for me. I don't know about you guys, but today, I mean, I was almost in tears before recording this video. Even though I feel so loved and blessed. Um, it just seems like mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, especially, I feel so drained. Um, I feel like every everything the past two weeks since getting back, or past week, past two weeks since getting back from my deliverance conference, it is like the power, the gates of hell have been released against me is what it feels like honestly um everything everything I got my hair cut and I don't like it at all um but I'm, I'm living with it and I don't want to cut it any shorter I almost died yesterday in a car accident like it could have been really bad it could have been really bad and I've been so tired and I've been sleeping so much and I've just had so much going on like literally nobody could hang out with me today because everyone's working. It's a Wednesday for my birthday. 
I could, I could just go on and on and on. It just seems like everything bad has been coming against me. And so many thoughts of like different areas that I, I thought I had like been fully delivered from have been creeping back in on me. Um, you know, ways of backsliding and it, it's just, I really needed this fresh new inspiration and vision. And I've been pray. I was praying and I opened up and that's what I saw that God wanted to decree and declare for this time in this season, this period right now. And I know I'm not the only one. I feel like great breakthrough is coming, but it's like, like, where is it at? I don't, you know, oh man, I feel like crying now. So I have sunglasses on. Uh, don't get me wrong. I'm so grateful. And I've had such a great day so far, but I just feel so like spiritually worn out. Like, oh. Anyway, so when God drops something in our when God drops something in our heart, it's because there's a purpose for it. And so I know his promises are gonna come to pass. It's just like I'm always doing good for everyone else, like, and I'm always pushing and believing and, you know, waiting on God, but it's just like, where is it, God? Like, of course, my one video where I'm sitting here crying, I'm crying on my birthday. Um, I've had so much demonic presences come against me. And, and tormenting me and, and stealing my sleep. It's just insane. Anyway, so yeah, when God puts something in our hearts, it's because there's a purpose for it. And it's something he intends to be carried out to completion. But the enemy is all about aborting what is meant to be completed, what God is wanting for us. He's trying to do the opposite, right? I I don't know if my friend's watching this, but one of my friends, she had a vision about a guy that she was gonna marry. I didn't know about the vision. I tell her, this is my second friend, this has happened to, um, similar stories, not completely. I tell her, who, like who as soon as I I seen her I felt like I knew who it was just she was gonna marry I told her and ever since the devil has been working completely against that completely against it and it's just like you know with Adam and Eve in the garden what did what did the devil do to Eve he made her question and doubt what did God really say that you know did God really say like you can't have this fruit like, really? Like, this is some nice fruit. Are you sure he would want to keep that from you? You know? So it's like, and now both of these girls, one of these girls even quit speaking to me because of it. Because I guess she felt so guilty that she was in a different relationship with someone that she probably knows she's not supposed to be with. Um, it, it's crazy. So anyway, the devil comes to abort whatever God is wanting to do in our lives. He, he wants our lives to be filled with a list of things that didn't come to, um, to completion, that didn't come to be complete and to flourish. He doesn't want that for our lives and everything to remain incomplete or aborted altogether. If he can get us to, if he knows who we're supposed to marry, he instantly is going to do everything he can to delay it and if not, completely get us to abort what God has for us and I should have known this with the first girl I should have known it I should have known and me speaking out I know marriage that's 80 percent of my my visions and dreams is on marriage so I know the devil's been coming against me in that area so hard too because the devil hates family he hates unity you know he hates he hates that and if he can get us to marry someone else, then he's got an open door to that relationship. Anyway, so whether it's a ministry calling, business project, or even things like 
the right relationship. The devil wants us to feel a sense of failure from incompletion. Every person must resist the urge to abandon what God has appointed during times when we aren't feeling as excited and enthusiastic. And that's one thing I've been letting my emotions just dictate my actions the past few days. Like, okay, God, I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of that. I had been putting up with it for so long and fighting it. Like, I'm not seeing this, so I'm going to go and do this. Like, whatever. That That's just how I've been feeling lately, and it really sucks. Um, so we must remind ourselves that there is an appointed time for what we have begun. There's an appointed time for what we have begun to be completed. And that we got to keep our eyes on the appointed time of completion that God has for us and already established because it will be carried through guys you know i'm sure there's other others of you guys in the same boat as me but we got to keep pushing no matter what the enemy is doing no matter who how he's coming against us um we're gonna get there we're gonna get there we gotta keep you know just trusting and and try to have faith and stick to what god has been calling us to do and i know that's been so hard for me um, but I, I ask that you guys pray for me and I'll be praying for you guys. But anyway, I am going to go chill out at my house for a few hours before I get ready to go out to eat tonight. So it's been a busy morning, but it's been good. It's been good. I'm just so wore out. Um, but yeah, uh, if this video is helpful, like it, it's free, helps my videos. You guys know the deal like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you're notified when i post again and yeah i am 24 today and yeah i'll be back as the spirit leads so bye guys